Welcome to the Introducing the New Draft Site Mechanical Session. My name is Raymond Busboom, and I will be your presenter today. I'm an industry business consultant with Dassault Systems. I have nearly 25 years of experience in the 2D and 3D CAD markets. If you do have questions during the session, please join me on the DraftSite Swim community. I'll provide specific details on how you can do that at the end of the presentation. In today's presentation, I'm going to cover four major topics on the new, yet to be released, DraftSite Mechanical. This presentation is the first worldwide preview of the newest addition to the DraftSite portfolio. Let's jump right in and discuss why DraftSite Mechanical, and more importantly, why now? Before I give you the details, I believe it's important to understand the current DraftSite offerings. DraftSite is not just one product, it is an entire portfolio of solutions to meet your needs. We have DraftSite Professional and Enterprise, that is your 2D workhorse and is similar to AutoCAD LT. Then we have DraftSite Premium or Enterprise Plus, which gives you the capabilities of 2D constraints and 3D drawings. Additionally, DraftSite Enterprise and Enterprise Plus is available as a network license to allow multiple team members to share licenses if they aren't using them all of the time. Then we come to the 3D Experience DraftSite, which is a combined solution of DraftSite with the power of the 3D Experience platform. You have options for both professional and premium. So the next question is obviously why one more version would be needed. We are seeing an increasing trend in consolidation of design solutions, especially in the 2D CAD market. Clients are looking to source from one vendor for both their 3D and 2D design software needs. As DraftSite is a better alternative, we are continuing to invest to bring needed capabilities to market for our clients. DraftSite Mechanical is no exception to that. DraftSite Mechanical is purpose-built to work with mechanical entities and objects in the DWG file format. We maintain a very familiar user interface for our clients. We'll cover this in more detail in this session. When discussing mechanical drawings, it's important to touch base on drafting standards that are utilized. DraftSite has full support for ANSI, ISO, DIN, GIS, and BSI standards. You can use empirical, metric, or even show dual dimension displays if you require it. You also have the ability to customize these standards, including adapting our hardware library to add, modify, or remove parts. To quickly summarize, the professional version of DraftSite brings you the essential tools to create and modify 2D drawings in the JWG format. The premium version goes further in terms of productivity tools for 2D with features such as dynamic block editing, sheet sets, and PDF import. The premium version also includes 3D solid modeling. Both versions include some mechanical design features, but without the ability to update the drawings previously created with other mechanical 2D CAD solutions, which is what we would like to show you now. Looking at the ribbon of DraftSite Mechanical, we can see two new tabs. The Mechanical Content tab is introducing additional features for mechanical layers and construction lines. The Mechanical Annotate tab is both introducing new and enhanced features. Key new features, the possibility to create and modify part references. Unlike in other draft site versions, the new balloon feature is able to use those part references. The same is true for the bomb feature, and we can also see a new command for parts list. By the way, you see here the new dark mode user interface that is among the new features for draft site 2022. If you prefer the light gray user interface, it's easy to switch. So let's dive deeper into these new features now by looking at the features you will only find in draft site mechanical. There are three major areas to understanding mechanical. The first is part references. These add intelligence to the 2D entities so that they will be treated like a separate part number for bill of material tracking. A part reference contains all the part information, like number, description, vendor, etc. Existing ones can be modified. New ones are automatically created when using the hardware library, but can also be created from user-defined blocks. The next is the BOM and parts list. The bill of materials is the virtual BOM that aggregates all part references for this drawing. The parts list is the visual table on the drawing that allows you to organize the bomb to your liking. To complete your drawing, you have ballooning features that will automatically read the bomb and part reference information. To complete your drawing, you have ballooning features that will automatically read the bomb and part reference information, making it simple to complete assembly instructions. Frames give you an easy ability to fit your designs into title blocks with a simplified scaling process. Now let's take a deeper look into each one of these. To begin with, DraftSite Mechanical is introducing the Mechanical Layers Manager and the support for layer groups. 
Your layers will automatically stay organized as required in the standard chosen for your drawing. The support for layer groups is also there for compatibility with legacy mechanical drawings. If your drawing contains part references that were previously inserted with your legacy mechanical application, you will see these blue dots indicating mechanical data is attached. This is a key difference with other versions of DraftSite, as only in DraftSite Mechanical you will be able to read but also modify this information. For example, if you are replacing a part by another one, you will be able to update the information, which is fundamental to ensure the parts list and BOM will, will remain correct. When you will draw new content with DraftSite Mechanical, you will use our hardware library. After insertion, a part reference is automatically inserted with all the mechanical information. If you share your drawing with a legacy CAD user, the part reference will be recognized by that program. Again, it is fundamental to ensure that the BOM and parts list remain up to date. You may also create part references from any entity designed with DraftSite. It can be, for example, any block you insert or just a spline like shown in this example to represent a silicone sill to protect the head of our screw from water. Now let's take a look at our bomb feature. You'll see in blue some elements that are overrides. In some cases, there are good reasons to keep a different value, but we see a quantity of two for our screw and we can remove that override. I apply the change for now, but in our drawing, we do have two screws yet only one part reference is inserted. To fix the quantity, I open up the part ref and increase it to two. Now our bomb is showing the right value. To continue, I can also insert an item directly inside the bomb. For example, I'm adding the painting that I will need. Inserting items like this is typically useful when no part ref can be linked. Finally, we have the option to remove items from the parts list, such as a silicone. In the BOM dialog, we can also add other fields, such as the vendor column. The big difference with DraftSite Professional or Premium is that we'll only be able to read that part reference. We can customize our bill of materials and review the accuracy of this data before eventually exporting it to a CSV file for Excel. In DraftSite Mechanical, you will also find the parts list command. If a parts list was previously inserted, you can double click on it. Alternatively, you can create a new one. To begin with, I will insert the name and vendor columns that I see are missing. Note that I can only insert columns for fields enabled in the parts reference dialog. I can always update the information from here, but the modification will then be highlighted in blue. When this list becomes very long, it is sometimes difficult to identify each part. Therefore, the zoom to and highlight buttons are here to help you find the corresponding items in the drawing. Finally, the item column shows the balloon number. In DraftSite Mechanical, the Balloons feature is supporting part references, so you can use it both for content previously created with your legacy mechanical system and DraftSite Mechanical. Balloons can be inserted individually, and after insertion, you can select a balloon and modify its style. But you can also save time by inserting multiple balloons that will be lined horizontally or vertically, as you wish. But now we realize that our drawing doesn't fit in the frame anymore, so let's create a new frame with a larger paper size. Frames are also mechanical entities following the standards we are working on. The frame includes a title block with attributes that I can update. Before we end this presentation, I also wanted to double back and just review some of the existing features in DraftSite that are also being used for mechanical design. The most iconic feature is obviously the hardware library. Based on the mechanical standard you will have chosen, you will find a library of bolts, screws, washers, and pins. With our toolbox dialog, you can configure the part in different configurations, near side, far side, as well as side and hidden views. Most importantly, the choice will be limited to the part that exists in the chosen standard. And this is where it could make sense to customize the standard to add, modify, or remove references. The only difference in DraftSet Mechanical will be that a part reference will be added to the insertion. Going one step further, you will also find our screw connections wizard. In this dialog, you can configure a screw or a bolt together with its washers and nuts. With the preview, you can easily see what you will get and adjust accordingly until you are satisfied. Otherwise, you can always edit the screw connection after insertion. Here again, the difference in DraftSite Mechanical will be the automatic insertion of a part reference. Today, we will not have time to review each single feature. 
But in case you were wondering, DraftSite is including some other key features, such as holes, hole tables, and hole callouts. You will also find the surface finish and welding symbols. And last but not least, you can insert revision tables to document the changes in your drawings. To conclude, I would like to summarize. The key difference in DraftSite Mechanical is in the possibility to update drawings containing mechanical entities in the DWG format. Indeed, to achieve this, you will need the support for part references and parts lists. This is in particular a must-have feature for your company had you used in past legacy mechanical or mechanical desktop to produce mechanical drawings. So that concludes really our presentation. And the only last thing to discuss is really what's next? Where do you go from here? So at 3 Experience World, we have over 17 draft site sessions. So you still have time to watch a few. If you've missed any, you will we'll be able to go back and experience them as the recordings will be up soon. We also, the last session of the day is our draft site meetup. This is where you can join us for a live Q&A. And of course, we have a swim community for our breakout session, so you can post questions there as well. In addition, DraftSite has its own swim community, and you can get to that by going to swim.3es.com, and you can see the DraftSite in the list, and you can also search on that as well. That's where I'm going to be hanging out, so if you have any questions, please drop them in there, and I will be more than happy to address them. A few other learning sites would be DraftSite.com and 2DCAD.com. It's great to get um, installation guides and kind of admin guides. Our YouTube channel, the DraftSite YouTube channel, has a learning journey that is a great place for beginners. So if you're new to DraftSite, I would highly recommend you start directly there. Then we get a lot of questions that are basic help-related questions. And so I wanted to point you out that you can go to the help system. It's a little question mark up in the top right. And uh, that's a great place to start if you have an immediate need. Again, thanks for joining us today, and I hope you got something out of this session. Join me on our SWIM community and uh, touch base. Thank you.